Hello, Calculator Fanciers. A bit of an unusual one today. I have been sent this in by an amateur calculator appreciator. Robert in the United States of America found this in his parents' basement. There you are, Robert. I bet you didn't think when you pulled this out and dusted it off that one day you'd see it here. I mean, this is center court, the epicenter of the calculator appreciating world. Look, it just goes to show you everyone at home with your little calculator collections that one day all your calculator dreams can come true. Okay, so here we have the Casio with an unexpected extra that's slightly more threatening than I like my calculators to be, but you can see it has got two color printing, which is two more colors than most. Now, just very quickly, I'm aware this is officially a historic calculator because it's quite an old one that's been sent in. And some of you will be concerned that while it is still in its original box, it's not mint in its original box, it's been damaged here, like some kind of heavy blow uh, to the top. There's some scuffing around the bottom. It is not museum quality. There's some marks on here, very disappointing. And from a proper collecting point of view, we don't know the history of this calculator. It's got no providence. I mean, there's no chain that shows where this came from. So I'm well aware this is not up to the standards you'd expect, but for a bit of fun, I'm prepared to pop it open and have a closer look. And here we go, I, this should slide out. And oh, okay, so here we have some uh, paper for printing, that's gonna be handy. Here we've got some of these with a yellowing tape on them to hold, maybe it was yellow to start with. Now for the UK collector, it's a little inconvenient that the US adapters are 120 volts or freedom voltage as it's commonly referred to. But as a purist, I'm not going to swap that out for a replacement one. I want to keep the proper one. The official standard practice is to get an adapter to adapt the adapter to your local uh, situation. So you need to get an adapter adapter or adapter squared as we call it. Little joke there from the calculator community. Okay, getting down to the calculator itself, we have here we go, look at that. So it's got a kind of dust cover there. So if it's in a place with lots of debris that might land on it, you can keep it carefully uh, cased under there at a moment's notice. It's got the full instructions, look at that, and warranty. Now the HR100 is well known for having the largest broadsheet instruction manual in the business, look at that. So out of the box, it's got quite a nice look to it. Now as previously discussed, we can't use the US adapter straight away, and so we're gonna have to put some batteries in the back of this bad boy. Okay, so it takes four AA batteries. Okay, batteries please, four AA's. Thank you very much. Now we'll pop one in there. Uh, it's always very important to put your batteries in facing the right way around, otherwise you will, uh, your calculator can catch on fire, it can explode, or even worse, you might get the wrong answer to one of your calculations. Uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give you a gore warning. Look away if you don't like horrific medical sights because I've actually cut my finger opening up this cal- You can see, look, look at that! It's barely attached anymore. I've cut my digit while trying to get in to use some more digits. I mean, that, that's just the risks I accept when you're opening calculators at this kind of level. Okay, we'll just pop that back on there. And now the batteries are in. We will fire this thing up to on. All right, so this is just basic calculator mode. So let's do, uh, we'll do the standard divide by zero. One divide by zero equals. And oh, tiny, tiny error over there. Doesn't make a big deal of it. That's quite nice. And we'll do a quick division uh, precision. Is that clear? One, oh, it's locked. Clear, okay, there we go, we're clear, okay. Let's do one divided by nine equals. That's the ones times nine equals. So you can see there, not entirely accurate, which is quite good if you're trying to fudge the books to have a little bit of wriggle room in your calculations. And finally, you got feed over here. So obviously when you're doing your accounts, you're gonna be working around the clock. If you do have to go and get some substance, you can just hit feed. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, Oh, so no feed is for the printer. And you know what? That is why we're here. We want to see the printing in action. Let's load up the paper. Uh, just tidy up the edge uh, there. Okay, so the paper goes obviously on the back here. So we'll shove it in there and then hit feed. Come on, take it. Here we go. Okay, now we're ready to do some calculations while it prints. So if I do one, Plus, I've committed the one to the paper now, no going back. Two plus four plus 
8 plus 16. And you can see, as I'm adding these numbers on, they're all being printed up there. We're up to 62 plus uh, 124 plus 248. And now if we want to get the grand total, you hit star. And there it is printed at the bottom. And if we feed that up, you can see... There's my whole calculation, and you know what, you can, you can then cut that off there. If you want to do a calculation and send it to someone else, incredibly convenient. A little souvenir, send it off, everyone else can enjoy it. Okay, so let's do some tests while we're printing. One divided by zero equals. Oh, when there, see, it's done a full line. You can see that it's not happy. It's done, no, 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 no. Clear that. If I do 1 divided by super zero, so double zero, and it goes, and still no. Very, very unhappy with that. Let's clear that out. Okay, let's try uh, seeing how it does with undoing division. So 1 divided by 9 equals, and so there we've got very or loads of 1s. Very good. Now we'll multiply that by 9 equals. No, not quite. That's very disappointing. What is this? Right, so very annoyingly it tried to do it and it didn't get back to one. So I mean, this is now a little monument to its shame. You can keep that, right? You can, you can be like, look what you've done. That is very disappointing. I'm very upset with you. Very rarely can you show a calculator what it's done incorrectly like that. Now one of the great things about a printing calculator is if you're doing a calculation like you put in uh, 58 thousand and you add eight right and then you want to get the grand total for that once it's printed out you can feed it all the way through and normally you've got to pick the calculator up and move it around because it's a printing calculator nothing has to go anywhere and you can still turn the answer around so very quickly we'll just check how big the display is we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine digits ten 11, 12, no 13, it hits an error at 13, but it does display big 12 digit, that's quite nice. And if you want, if you want, to, you want to keep a little reminder of just how many digits you've got, of course you can print that out and there you are. In fact, on there more than 12 things on the display because you've got all the nice fancy curly commas, look at those, good topography. You've got an overly sized decimal point, there's a space and a plus, I mean that, that is a good display. So there you are, the Casio Unexpected Extra 12 Digits 2 Color Printing Big Display Printing Calculator, model number HR-100TE plus negative W adapter included. Now obviously I'm just doing this as a bit of an exhibition piece, it's a bit of fun for the fans at home, I can't give it a, a proper score. So there you are Robert, thank you very much for sending this in and thank you for being an inspiration to everyone else getting into the calculator game. Who would have thought that a calculator you found in the basement in the United States that would one day end up here at the South Surrey and Associated Regions Calculator Appreciation Society for Professionals and Amateurs.